No matter how many videos I've made on this topic, one of the big questions that I get all the time is what's happening with the Xeno Pass games, Xeno Gears, Xeno Saga, and Xeno Blade Chronicles X. We know that Nintendo has done a phenomenal job at making the trilogy available for everyone to play on the Nintendo Switch, but there's still some missing pieces with people wanting to go back and play some of Monolith Soft's best. Xeno Gears, obviously one of the originators when it comes to Monolith Soft and what they could do when they were part of Square Enix. And of course, the Xeno Saga franchise, the trilogy of games that came across in the PlayStation 2 era, one game on the Nintendo DS, and the fact that that was from Bandai Namco, in addition to Xenoblade Chronicles X, which is a Wii U game that's stuck on the Wii U right now. So once again, Monolith Soft has been fantastic when it comes to Xenoblade Chronicles 1, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and the DLC packs, but people are looking and asking, what about the other games? Well, it gets pretty complicated because like I mentioned, they're not all owned by Monolith Soft, or by Nintendo. So we're gonna delve into that and how likely it is for the Nintendo Switch or even an upcoming Nintendo platform. But before we get into that, what's good everyone? OJ here, welcome back to another video. Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, click that notification bell and make sure you subscribe and comment down below because we do have a metaphor refantasio giveaway that's going down we're giving that away this week so you're definitely going to want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel comment below and check out the link in the description because there you can vote enter in on our community page so definitely go there and get it done we got a lot of people entering in so i appreciate that now let's jump right back into the topic here guys let's discuss xeno gears first then we'll get into xeno saga and of course xeno blade chronicles x so xeno gears that's owned by square enix and with square enix has been radio silent when it comes to Xeno Gears. There has been absolutely nothing, not even a peep from them. The last time that we even heard about this franchise from Square Enix is when they decided to put it like on the PSP or PS3, the downloadable store or whatever. But since then, there has been nothing. There has been no collaborations with Nintendo and Monolith Soft with Xeno Gears. There's been absolutely no re-releases of the game on modern platforms like a virtual console download or anything like that when it comes to the newer systems they have just left this thing there so i don't know what's happening with xeno gears and i don't think anything new is going to come from it now maybe just maybe we get something on the nintendo switch at some point maybe there is a classic game that they put together square enix does something they've had some collections and collaborations before but they have a lot going on right now at square enix obviously they got a brand new president they've got a whole reshuffling of what they want to do they're not going to be doing as many exclusives anymore when it comes to final fantasy they're looking to completely shake things up they have a medium three year or so business to long term plan so Xeno Gears is probably one of those odd franchises out they're not really focused on it it's not important to them there's nothing to report on it and I don't think there's going to be anything to report on it anytime soon outside of a virtual console type of release PS1 classic download type of thing for PlayStation I mean it might be on the PS4 or PS5 or something like that I'm not even sure but there's been nothing significant and nothing that we can tie it back to Nintendo or Monolith Soft or an upcoming game or anything like that so unfortunately and i'm hope i'm wrong with this analysis or something you know unfortunately it looks like this thing is done i think xeno gears is a one and done in terms of that branding and i'm not sure when how or even what's going to happen with it which is very unfortunate because xeno gears is really really cool don't get me wrong i love me some xeno gears and i think it would be awesome if they remade that game gave it a new coat of paint actually fixed some of the issues with the original game i think it can do really well on the nintendo switch and playstation platforms in today's day i know it didn't sell the best back then it did okay but it didn't sell the best i thought that it would be awesome if they did that but it just seems like square enix is not interested so very unfortunate but hey it is what it is when it comes to xeno gears now let's move on to something a bit more hopeful xeno saga i've talked about this multiple times and this has so much more smoke there is some fire with this i do feel that xeno saga has a very good chance of coming back in some way shape or form with some new graphics new content new game something along the lines of that and i'm gonna get into it why so a number of years back Hadarasan, who heads up Bandai Namco, said that they actually had a Xeno Saga trilogy remaster on the table discussing it in their board meetings. However, after an analysis and looking through that it simply was not a profitable type of thing that they could do, bringing it back when it comes to cost and how much it could sell, platforms making it, 
all that it wasn't feasible wasn't reliable now this was before the nintendo switch and they pretty much just set it on ice and said we're gonna forget about it obviously the nintendo switch brought about xenoblade chronicles at least bringing back xenoblade chronicles and now we have monolith soft and we have Xenoblade Chronicles being one of the better selling big JRPGs out there. Definitely not the best selling. Obviously, there's more that sell bigger and better, but it's still one of the better selling ones that are notable out there. So with that and the Nintendo Switch and the fact that Xenosaga, we've gotten some other hints when it comes to Monolith Soft. I feel that this is more likely to happen. Now, if you've played Xenoblade Chronicles 3, if you've played Future Redeemed, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When it comes to Xenosaga and that franchise coming back, I do feel that it's very likely there's been other Xenotubers out there and other people that have talked about how they personally feel as well that Xenosaga will come back based off of the, some of the stuff that has happened in these Xenoblade Chronicles games, especially with Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Future Redeemed to be in particular there. We also have the Cosmos in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, TLOS in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as optional blades that you can pick up as well. So that is also a big thing. You've got multiple signs pointing that they wanted to, Bandai Namco and Nintendo, Monolith Soft, wanted to get some of the Nintendo fans familiar with these characters, TLOS and Cosmos. There has been a lot there. Now, I think that the biggest thing that you can point out here is the fact that Monolith Soft did a 25th anniversary video. It was cut right there at 2 minutes and 50 seconds. And they went through and they showed all their different games over the last 25 years, which was just awesome to see. But at the very end, their babies, their, I would say, movers when it comes down to it, what do you see overall? You see Elma, you see Xenoblade 1, you see Xenoblade 2, you see Xenoblade 3, and Cosmos from Xeno Saga was there, right alongside Noah and Mio, right alongside Shulk and Fiora, right alongside Rex, Pyra, and Mithra, Elma, it was all there. So to me, Cosmos is more important, and I'd say is more of something that they are looking into with this, because why else would you have her there overall? There could have been other characters from other Xeno games, but they decided to put Cosmos in there. You have the future redeemed content. You have Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 content with Cosmos and TLOS. To me, it points to them trying to familiarize the Nintendo base with this character. And it seems like they've executed that in a pretty good way because there's been so many people that I know of that have went back and played Xenosaga or at least read up, watched retrospectives, learned who Cosmos was or is and said, oh, wow, this is pretty cool. I want to know more about this character. It'd be cool to see it. I've saw people go through the whole Xenosaga series, never played Xenosaga after Future Redeemed came out, went back and played Xenosaga, went back and watched the retrospectives to find out about the story, and they're incredibly intrigued. And I think that was the whole point with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Future Redeemed and everything was to get Cosmos more on that map to familiarize the Nintendo base. Because remember, there was only one pretty obscure Xenosaga game on the Nintendo DS, whereas the big trilogy was on the PlayStation 2 and it hasn't been ported or re-released or anything on any other platform. So to me, that was them trying to get that ready to go. And I feel that Xenosaga HD or Xenosaga Trilogy Remastered or something along the lines of that will be coming. I do feel that it is more of a profitable take at this point. The only thing that I'm kind of cautioning on with that, while I'm not 100% on it, it's like, man, you would think they would have already had this ready to go by now. Now, maybe they wanted to finish and wait for Future Redeemed, which came out last year. I thought that maybe it would be a great opportunity this year since there's no Xeno or anything from Monolith Soft. It would have been a great opportunity this year to have a Xeno Saga Trilogy remaster after the incredible ending of Future Redeemed and what happened there. So for me, I thought that it could happen this year, but hey, look, we have to wait and see what they're evaluating, what they're doing. But I do feel that Xeno Saga is going to happen more sooner than necessarily later at this rate based off of everything that we discuss now the last thing and i know what you guys are very excited about is xenoblade chronicles x we've talked about this a number of times on my channel and i consistently get people at least three or four times a week in my live streams asking me what do you think about xenoblade chronicles x 
What do you think about that game? Is it possible? What's happening? There's no more Wii U. We can't play. You got to get it physical. Wii U's are dead. Nobody bought the system. It's crazy that it's not on a newer platform. And I agree. It's crazy that a game this good is not on a newer Nintendo system with the Nintendo Switch or the upcoming Nintendo Switch 2. We'll see what happens there. So Xenoblade Chronicles X is going to happen. There is no way that Nintendo allows that quality, that caliber, that awesomeness of a game to just sit there beforehand. I've never seen anything like it if they do allow that. Most of their best games for the most part have been updated on newer systems in some way shape or form especially from systems that flop like the gamecube for example or like some of the other systems now obviously virtual boy we're not counting those but some of the main systems so the wii u now is going on 12 years old at this point xenoblade chronicles x came out back in 2015 so i do feel it's time it's going on the 10 year anniversary next year of xenoblade chronicles x it'll be 10 years at the end of next year it'll be 10 years actually in early i think the first half april or so or something like that for the japanese release of xenoblade chronicles x so we're going on 10 years and it's stuck on that system that nintendo has already ditched and there's no way to actually access those in terms of buying it new when it comes to xenoblade chronicles x so they have to get this ready to go whether that's the nintendo switch or the nintendo switch 2 i just don't know at this point now something tells me that they'd probably remake the game now something tells me that they'd probably remake the game or a high-end remaster of the game it was built specifically for the wii u and if you looked at when mr takahashi talked about how it wouldn't be financially feasible or it's tough just because of the type of game that it is and money they were knee deep into so many other projects at that time now i still feel that they are working which they actually did come out and confirm that they're working on the next big takahashi team one monolith soft title which i do feel will be xenoblade chronicles 4 or xenoblade chronicles whatever the new type of game is and i don't think it's going to play like the other xenoblade games it's going to have a lot of similarities and certain things here and there but i think it's going to have a new cast of characters fresh new faces fresh new place and all that but it's going to be the continuation of xenoblade chronicles in some way shape or form so i do feel that they are working on that but i also feel that they've definitely done something and made some work or progress alongside a xenoblade chronicles x remaster or xenoblade chronicles x remake because i think that they've kind of cleared up in terms of some of their other projects that they were working on in addition to actually having that extra time that the Nintendo Switch afforded them when it comes to the amount of Xenoblade games that they've already done, what they've made, and what's happening next within the gap of the Nintendo Switch 1 to the Nintendo Switch 2. So I thought that there is some time for Xenoblade Chronicles X to happen. And once again, it would be a shame if they just left that on the Wii U considering how awesome that game is. And I think that it could be a pretty good seller on the nintendo switch now i just want to see if it's going to be a cross-gen type of thing will it be a nintendo switch 2 only type of thing how far are they going to go with this i don't think it's just going to be a straight up port i think they'd actually have to rework and retweak a few different things considering how the game was made and for the hardware that it was made for the wii u specifically with that architecture power pc it's a different type of thing trying to run it on the nintendo switch or the nintendo switch 2 coming up i would think that they want to make some optimizations to get the game running and looking a lot better overall and maybe even revise that online play that they had too so maybe even shape it up a bit if you look at Zimbabwe chronicles definitive edition they made a lot of adjustments and enhancements to that game so it could be very much the same thing here with xenoblade chronicles x whether they decide to remake the whole thing which probably is a little bit more of a stretch or a nice high-end remaster which i think is more likely for xenoblade chronicles x either way i'd be very excited to see what they're going to do just because i don't think that it's going to live and die on the wii u i think it's going to come over to the nintendo switch or the nintendo switch 2 or even a cross-gen type of thing but once again we're gonna have to wait and see overall so what do you guys think about this xeno heavy update when it comes to xeno gears xeno saga and xeno blade chronicles x and getting those games on the modern platforms or something to where you can play more easily let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below all right guys that wraps it up for this video here thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new click that notification bell and check out my other nintendo switch and rpg content right here on screen and of course make sure you enter in to win our metaphor collector's edition giveaway link in the description as well thanks for watching we'll catch you guys for the next one peace